So my background is I'm a certified massage therapist, and I also used to be a licensed biology teacher. I was introduced to dolphin neurostim in school uh, when a bunionectomy and hammer tone scar that I have was uh, worked on. The scar was from 1997. I was real curious to see what all it would do. I didn't have normal sensation in the scar when you touched it. And after just one little mini treatment, I pretty much had normal sensation in the scar. So at that point, you know, my reaction was, okay, universe, I'm listening. Dr. Jessica is the person who did my foot at school. Then uh, I did my own and had my husband help me with my, uh, after my breast cancer surgery. Um, I had pulling all the time, 24 seven, just from under my arm, from my lymph nodes across the medial side of my breast. And I didn't like that I felt it every minute of every day. It was really upsetting. And that was something I would rather put in my rearview mirror. So um, I thought, hey, why don't I treat my own scar and have my husband do under my arm where I can't reach? Mm -hmm. uh, and so, so I did. And the pulling stopped because it's a very fresh scar. Um, it's just a year old. So that resolved shockingly quickly for me. And uh, then, yeah, the SSRIs were a big deal. Um, during 2022, there was breast cancer and some other major stuff going on. And so I was on um, antidepressants appropriately. And uh, my doctor and I talked and decided that it was a safe time for me to try to go off. And her reaction when I said, oh, boy, mm -hmm. I'm not this for the side effects. She goes, yeah, good luck with that. And I'm like, oh, boy, here comes. Yeah. Uh, so uh, because everybody's heard of the migraines and the brain fog and the yeah. nightmare and everything else. So um, I got the standard protocol for that from Dr. Jessica and mm -hmm. uh, used it. And as it turns out, it really wasn't too bad. Um, I'm, pl I'm prone to cluster migraines. So I was, you know, really most dreading those. I uh, got a couple of them and dolphin myself uh, with heart nine and gallbladder 40, 41, and it shut them right down as though I was turning off a light switch. It was a very interesting uh, phenomenon to experience. Um, I still had the I still had the brain fog. It kind of felt like I was walking through Jello for a month, uh, yeah. but uh, I really can't complain given that I didn't have didn't have the migraines. I didn't experience any nightmares. Uh, and the profuse sweating that I had had the entire time that I was on SSRIs mm -hmm. eventually stopped. Yes, quite a lot with my clients. Uh, there was one client with a hip uh, hip replacement scar, yeah. scar sold, and she had not been able to touch her toes or twist laterally since recovering. Um, scar looked beautiful. Cosmetically, someone did a great job. Uh, I, I treated her, and after the first treatment, uh, she was able to twist laterally and touch her toes, and she was just elated. Um, and then I treated frozen shoulder. Um, that that client was so happy. Uh, during the course of her treatment, um, yeah. after we, she was able to go back to playing tennis. So um, she was just she was so happy. She was in tears. So if I have a nurse that I'm working on right now, OR nurse who came in for sciatica um, and it turns out she has a c-section scar so i basically said wait you have a c-section scar let's let's uh, halt everything and treat that before we do another moment on your um, low back pain sciatica and uh, things started loosening up so you know that's that's been wonderful um i've had another client who had a uh lumbar laminectomy that is around 50 years old and then a hip replacement around 30 years old and a knee replacement 17 years old on the same body uh poor woman and after we did um her hips and her lumbar laminectomy she was able to go up and down uh stairs and even walked three blocks to go to the y and go swimming so yeah. she was beyond thrilled uh, and so was I. And the stories just go on and on and on about how people's chronic pain is relieved and um, and how their their scar tissue being released is changing their lives. I just had a, a breast lift client last week 
um, who had a mommy makeover where she uh, she lost 100 pounds. And so she had the excess skin from her abdomen removed and also had her breasts lifted. Um, she uh, she just had an incredible experience of, of the release in the in the scar. Uh, she had one particular little knot. Uh, and asked me what that was. And I said, oh, that's just where they pulled the end of their incision. And you have a little lump where the skin just got pulled very tight. Mm. And had six minutes left in the end of a session before I had to go to my next client. And I said, uh, do you want me to work on that area for your last part of the session? She's like, yes. So just in that last six minutes, that last bit of that scar, mm. uh, it released completely. And she's like, oh my God, it's gone. It's flat, it's gone. And I could just tell she was so elated. I have a, a client uh, who has some uh, imbalance and motion issues uh, from structural causes. Uh, I've been working on him and he's been extremely tight for many, many years. And we're getting all his trigger points released and uh, he's able to, his, his tissue and his traps and his rhomboids is, is so much more pliable. Uh, and he's, he's really, really happy. Um, I've also been working on his low back and of course the hips of the foundation and, and releasing the hips, um, uh, is so key to all of this, but I'm, I'm really thankful that I chose dolphin, um, to base my practice on it. It's, I'm already helping so many people and it just, it's very satisfying. And, uh, then they refer the people they know who are in pain for relief as well. I am loving it. It's it's the foundation of my practice. Most of what I do is scar tissue release or chronic pain relief. And uh, I'm just so thankful for this technology and the protocols. Uh, just personally, it's helped me after breast cancer and releasing my scar. So I don't feel the pulling every minute of every day as a reminder. I just wanted it in my rear view mirror and it is now. Um, and uh, a bunionectomy and hammer toe scar that from 1997 is, is how I found dolphin. Um, dolphin has restored normal sensation to that scar. Uh, and then getting off SSRIs was pretty easy. And I, you know, I have no complaints. I mean, thanks to dolphin and the vagus nerve treatment and the other points that I treated along with standard protocol. Um, I did not have, I mean, even my doctor said, good luck to you when I told her I wanted to get off of my SSRI. Uh, because everybody knows how how difficult the symptoms are to navigate, but vagus nerve, the other protocol just shut shut the symptoms right down, especially the cluster migraines. It was like turning off a light switch. Feel them coming on, I'd treat, and then boom, they just stopped just abruptly. It was a very interesting sensation. That figures. I'm the queen of um of idiopathic things happening, but uh, but yeah, I that's the only kind of migraine I get is a cluster migraine. And the first time I got it, it scared me so bad. I was sure I was dying, went to the doctor, had a brain scan, and he's like, no, you get cluster migraines. I'm like, what's that? And he explained, and he's like, yeah, that's what that is. I'm like, lucky me. So, but dolphin shuts them down. I'm so pleased that I've um, chosen to build my practice on dolphin and on scar tissue release and chronic pain. And um, yeah, it just it's really satisfying work to do to know that you can help people in in that way to that degree. Yeah, I mean, it's hard to say I, I enjoy treating breast cancer patients because I'm a breast cancer thriver and I like to help other thrivers to you know recover and put their journey in their rearview mirror as much as they're able. Um, it's really gratifying to work on C-sections. Uh, because it's nice when a woman couldn't stand up straight before and you treat her scar and she can now or she couldn't touch her toes and now she can. Uh, that makes a big difference to me. Um, I have a couple of uh, neuro I have a neuropathy and aroma client that I'm just finishing now on. Um, in fact, the neuroma client still is a little bit challenging. Perhaps you can help with that um, when we're done with the call. But uh, they now. Um, have flexion in their toes where they did not before. One has numbness really reduced. She has increased sensation in her feet. Um, she's a dancer. She wants to go back to dancing. That's her goal. Uh, and, you know, of course, when you've got numbness in the feet or stiffness, the issue is pain, is uh, balance and safety. 
Um, so that's important. So yeah, and I mean, it just, yeah, I guess scars are definitely my favorite. Um, it was really, it was very um, gratifying to be able to work on that frozen shoulder because my client came in, um, she was really brave. Uh, she really has a huge fear of needles, but she tried acupuncture and had tried physical therapy and was just uh, not happy about it. I mean, to go get acupuncture when you have a, a really big fear of needles and do it anyway is amazing. And when she came in, she was very nervous about dolphin and, you know, what was it? Was it going to hurt? And like, she did it anyway. And just the fact she was so committed to her healing with the frozen shoulder. Um, and the fact that she, her goal was to go back to playing tennis and, um, you know, we did it. So we got her there. It was time to leave teaching um, sooner than I had expected, but I uh, needed to choose something else. And um, I, it was very important to me to do something that still had to do with the human body because I am a biology teacher uh, right. and that also had to do with hands on healing. So uh, this made a lot of sense to me and uh, I had a goal going in. It's funny how you make plans and you take steps along a, along a path toward a goal and things unfold. I had thought that I wanted to have a uh, a practice solely with breast cancer patients. And then as I just saw different kinds of people and saw all the different ways uh, that this technology is transformative, uh, I just became more open to let's take the people in pain. Let's take who needs help and just go with it. So, um, so yeah, it's pretty green. I'm very passionate about it. I get a lot of guidance along the way from uh, Dr. Jessica. Uh, and I've got clients who are healed and happy. Thank you so much for this technology. Thank you for your guidance. It's very, very exciting.